Hey guys, welcome to another Satisfactory video. This one is on hypertubes and hypertube cannons and speeding yourself up. I am going to rant at the end of it because I had to make this video because I had to learn how to do it and all this kind of stuff. But this is the basic setup. I like to have my hypertubes up in the air, not on the ground, so you don't get sucked in uh, accidentally just by running by. You actually have to jump and then get into them. So that works a lot better for me, at least. And this is the basic setup I have right here. And this here setup here has long enough to shoot me down my thing and I don't glitch out. And it turned my two minute journey into a 25 second journey to my other base. So that's very handy to set up a cannon system like this um, or an accelerator system like this. And I'll show you the cannons up here. Um, my work area is up here. Now these are my two test things that I had working and I have power switches to turn them off. And I have a raised one and a ground one with, uh, with no supports and with supports. Now I tested a different, uh, the same thing. I took the supports off when I was testing it with a different setup and it didn't matter. So I lost no speed, I lost no distance, I, it didn't glitch less or more because I had supports on these uh, hypertubes. So supports or no supports, it doesn't matter. Uh, whatever you feel like doing, the one thing that does matter is the spacing in between them. If you get too far apart or it gets inconsistent, you'll start uh, getting kicked out of your tubes. At the end here, you get kicked out instead of getting a shot or kicked to the end of it and dying. There was lots of dying and testing in this stuff to get it to work right. And I found the closer they are together in a consistent manner, then they work. And if they're raised off the ground like this, uh, you need more of them. For some reason, maybe, maybe it's the gravity for being higher in the air or something like that, but you need more of them to get the same effect in the distance. Now, this one here is 20 long and I have this little lip up here to shoot myself off. And at 21, I got shot off the map, but this is really, um, it's really inconsistent on the speeds. Like in the first time you go through it, you'll get like super far. Then every other time after it, you will just get us, you'll get the same basic distance. And right here, this sends me to the oil fields basically. And you see that flying guy right there. You can hit those guys out of your hyper tubes. I did that. Uh, totally by accident. It was kind of funny. It just hit the guy and you just bounce right off of him and get thrown off to the side somewhere. But yeah, here's this setup right here. If you want to build um, an up in the air like this and get the angle proper like that, because it's kind of hard to do with these ones here. Um, you build your um, your support and then you put your uh, hypertube in it, of course, and then you can delete the support or just connect it to the hypertube after. But after you do that, it's the spacing is like this. Here's, this, here's the thing right there. So it's one two and then three so after you get to here it's just one two and then three and then at that spot you can click it and you raise it up and then you use the middle mouse button to get the angle and then you're good to go and then when you do the hyper tube part you make sure you do it on the build mode you can see the build mode there it's on it should be on noodle right there noodle and that will get you the angle now let's get to the actual important part is how to build your own um it start it's really good to build really really up high in the air or somewhere nice and super flat i prefer like uh doing it in the air where you can nice big flat stuff going on and if you have power problems you got a battery up here to where your hub is so this is connected to the power grid obviously and then you can turn this off at any time and then you have your battery packs and your battery packs can run your hyper tube since they take so much power and you know they'll just drain the batteries and then by the time you get shot out you know the batteries are drained but you're already your trip's already done you're already gone so it doesn't matter and you're not draining your power of all your other bases and stuff like that so once you get it set up and then you can have an extra switch here if you need to if you want to but if you want to disconnect the battery from it but yeah connect it to the battery connect it over here and then each one can have another switch so i set up a switch right here for this one here i'm going to show you the build so you just get your switch and right now my switch is on and then you turn it on and off. And then you connect your power, like you can see right here. But let's get into building it. The easiest way to build these ones is on the ground, of course, because you can access the, uh, the uh, it's a lot easier to see, just put it that way, for your tubes. So once you set up your, your support, you just build your tube and then you put it as close as you can as possible, like right there, right beside it. And you keep doing this. This is, you just repeat, rinse and repeat, building your tubes. Build your tube, repeat, build your tube, repeat. And 
get close to it. There you go. Build your tube and repeat. And I can see the blue one right there is five. So get over there. Come on. I know you want to do it. There you go. So that should be good. Now, what you do is you want to delete every other one. So you you put it down. Now you get the first one's gonna be the hypertube entrance, so then delete and delete it. Demolish it or whatever. Now you want to get rid of the tubes that you don't need. Is because there's two sets of tubes here. So you get rid of the set you get rid of that set of tubes. The one that are facing on the inside. That's where you want your hypertube entrances to be. There they are. So you do this and delete them because trying to get your tubes connected when they're that close together is virtually impossible. I can I can do it on the on the bigger ones there, but on the small ones when you have them, oh, sorry, get the supports. When you have your supports right beside each other like this, and you want to try and connect your tubes to them, like you can't see them. You have to cl click and click. Like you know, you got it there, but you can't see nothing. So you can do it either way, but just doing it spacing it like this is the easy way so you get your everything's all spaced out nicely and then you can stick your entrances in to make sure you got your arrows facing the right way and like so so now that you got your entrances in there and your stuff is facing the right way you want to get your cannon part at the end and you can build them as long as towards you want and um this works too. You can just go right to this much, to this one whole block space and raise up the high as you can go. You can raise the supports up and then angle it up at your 45 degree angles. Put your tube on and make sure your tube is on noodle to connect them. Your build mode. It starts on an auto and it says it doesn't connect and it doesn't work good in all these angles. So you want the noodle angle like so. And then once you get that done, you can, you know, connect it to power. And you're good to go. There you go. Now you're ready, ready to go, and ready to have them work. And I will show you a real one. Like that's just a small one. Let's just store all my stuff because I'm going to die now. Make sure I got nothing on so I don't want to lose it all. And we are going to use this top one here because this one's going to send me the farthest and I can show you that. So let's turn this power on and we'll get shot off. Nice and high up in the air. Send you pretty far. Can you check out the map? We're exploring nicely here. Oh, it's so laggy. That's the best you can do. Still can't see. Check the map. See, this is the inconsistent part. I might get shot off the map this time. Like, I no, normally I don't go this far. I stop off. Over, just over there is where I got off before. But yeah, I'm landing way over here now. And let's hit the mountain because that's the end of the map right there. So let's turn myself and hit the mountains here. There we go. So yeah, this got sh just shot right across the other side of the map. Hey, that's a that's a neat little cave area in here to explore. That's neat. But yeah, you can, no, you can't check out the map when you're dead. You can just respawn. There we go. Nice crashing. There you go. So that is an example of how far you can go with a cannon that big. And I have my secondary setup. So that is it for this video on showing you how to do it. I pretty much explained how to build those hyper tubes. And I gave you a good look at them. And how did I miss my jump here? I don't know. But yeah. Basic and simple, easy way to build them. If they're connected like this, you'll get shot off pretty well and they'll work like this and that's a sh five is a short distance and I already tested it before and I knew I wasn't gonna fall off the edge and die but yeah so let's get into the end of the video stuff I had to make this video because I saw some other videos that were trying to I was trying to find out why I was making my 
hypertubes and falling off and glitching and getting kicked out of my tubes and dying. So I wanted to see how they were built and I watched some other videos and they did not even help me. I had to continue on testing on my own because first of all the videos I saw on the top ones were they didn't explain it. They showed you it and they didn't explain how to really build it, you know, use, and explain it to how why you want to build it and how you want to build it like I just did right here showing you this. And the other video was some douchebag just on a whiny little voice with stupid little voice, little douchebag goddamn voice. And that's all he was doing the whole friggin' time is stupid voice and stupid comments and garbage like that. It's so friggin' annoying and he's using like god mode and cheats and all this kind of stuff. It's like, oh, hello, um, yeah, I'm trying to play this game naturally and not cheat and do stuff. So I'm glad you're cheating and doing stuff and using a really stupid, obnoxious voice, you damn fucking douche. Like, what the hell is your goddamn problem? So I had to make this video just because I cannot stand people like that. And I cannot stand the top videos being with people with doing like stuff like that like why would you behave like that in the first place who is your audience like five-year-old little kids who like that kind of garbage who watch teletubbies or something like that like give me a goddamn break so yeah i house i had to make this video right away and learn how to do all this stuff instead of continuing on my build just because of that kind of crap and get my get my cannons to work and that kind of stuff so i hope you enjoyed uh, the little rant there and I hope you got that off my chest and I hope you have a good example on how to get these cannons to work and the basics and the uniques it can be very simple if you know what you're doing if you're just winging it it can be a, very much a pain in the butt but I hope this little example showed you exactly what you need to do to get your uh, hypertubes uh, cannons working plain and simple and uh, I don't find much use in these things unless you have them angled perfectly towards where your base is if you have your huge base somewhere far away in a straight line then it'll work and you can use your jet pack and jet pack down safely and all that kind of stuff but yeah there's not much really use to doing this besides making your hypertube super fast to get from point A to point B on this huge huge map so yeah and I recommend sticking to 15 1520 max on your hypertubes and limit your FPS to 30. Just a reminder. And I showed you everything else. So that is it. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more uh, videos on this satisfactory game. It is kind of satisfactory. Thanks again. <laughs>